Yo guys, it's Darkheart, and what I just want to say hello to you guys. This is some um, Project Willow gameplay on Domination. It's a very high scoring gameplay, so without further ado, to do, let me talk about point of discussion. Call of Duty XP ain't happening this year, which is all right in my book because I really never went, and I kind of found it as a cheap way of some commentators getting lots and lots of views. But that doesn't really matter that much. I mean, I don't really care about that anymore. Um, but it was pretty cool that we got to see Oli multiplayer gameplay. I'm going to miss that. But we knew a lot more about MW3 when it first came out than any other Call of Duty. So with Call of Duty XP not going to happen, it will give us more of an anticipation for Black Ops 2, which it really needs, because a lot of people, they are not looking forward to Black Ops 2. It just doesn't have that stunning power. It just looks like a piece of shit. So, hopefully, uh, they do really good with the trailers, give us some good stuff to look forward to. Because the campaign's not really where it's at. It's the multiplayer. So, Hopefully they, I I want them to make me get so pissy pissy in my pants that I need to go to the bathroom. So uh, that's how excited I want to be. I want to be like, oh baby, it's a triple. But let's not talk about Call of Duty XP anymore, because as we all know, Call of Duty is kind of gay to talk about. But the new Battlefield Three. Armored kill stuff that they've been releasing at um, secret E3. Well, they aren't really secret, but uh, sh exclusive uh, press conferences or different places. And they showed some Bandar Desert. If you were on the ends channel, you probably seen it. But I think that map is going to be. <sighs> I don't think it's going to be that good for console, just for the fact that it has lots of flags. And we don't have enough people. That map would be good for, what is it, 16 vs 16. That map would be amazing. Or even Battle 32 vs 32. But it's not going to do well on console. People don't like, well, most of the Battlefield 3 community, as you notice, the 3 at the end, is more fast-paced and action-packed. That's why they did close quarter. And you have those guys buying the premium and the map packs expecting it to be fast paced. So when you don't deliver something fast paced, then they get pissed and they don't even play it. Now, DICE really screwed up because in the beta, they made it very fast paced, giving a false positive of what Battlefield really is. It's not a fast paced game, it's supposed to be meant to, you know, s s advance, not rush, advance, and slow up and wait for the enemy, stalk them, hunt them, kill them. Not, not, well, I'm going to rush in with the spaz and I'm going to rape them all. That's not how. Battlefield is. That's Call of Duty. The maps are supposed to be larger. Now, close quarters that you know satisfies those ty type of people, but the armored kill has no new weapons, so it won't satisfy, and people will get mad because, as I said, most of the Battlefield 3 community are a lot of ca Call of Duty fanboys, so uh, that's going to be pretty bad. But Battlefield 3, what am I talking about? All oh, they want some money. Some good stuff though is, you know, a lot more vehicles. The AC-130, that's going to be, it's going to be cool. It's going to spice stuff up. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, the gun also are basically like the drivers. Like, they don't actually drive, but they have the drivel benefits, like defenses. So, if some kid's like, wow, we're going to get locked on by a jet. And then one kid's like, yeah, I'll hit the flails. He can just hit the flails while shooting. So, that would be cool. And I guess there's one position on the AC-140 that gives you a 360 view. Well, it doesn't give you a 360 view, but it gives you a 360 turnaround. And you can essentially defend it off the AC-140 from jets. That's going to be awesome. 
But my main concern is, what happens if a jet runs into the AC-130, flies into the AC-130? What will happen? The AC-130 will most likely blow up, and the AC-130 is a big, big, uh, that's what she said, target, so I don't really know how that's going to work out. Maybe the jet will just blow up, because that's going to be really stupid, because I can just get in a jet, uh, pilot it up into the sky, and then fall down, and then as soon as it, it's about to hit, I just jump out, and I survive the crash. So, maybe they might... If you hit into it, the jet just, like, falls off and, like, blows up. That would be awesome. Because then that's a defense in itself. So. Oh, it kind of sucks that you can't pilot the AC-140. But I don't really see why they did that. I mean, if you control the base that gives you the AC-140, you should be able to pilot it. Maybe the skill that you can spawn trap in it. Because I'm thinking that's going to be pretty good. Uh, with the ba the with the big 105, so let's just hope and pray that the Ace 140 will be good, and it, not just a piece of shit waste of memory space in Battlefield. So that was the gameplay. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Peace.